and welcome back to Drum Electric. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I don't know why I'm doing the gun hands. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a regular viewer, then welcome back. So today we have a relatively quick lesson, a nice little snippet for you. Uh, we're going to be looking at the difference between Alt and Shot on the SVD SX and what they mean and the different things that you can do with them. So first things first, let's take a look. What am I talking about? So we are now behind the kit. I have my SPDSX currently set up just above my floor toms, so it's to the right of me as I play. So first things first, to actually get to these settings, we need to head over to the SPD and change a couple of things. So we're going to hit the menu button, then we're going to go over to pad, then we're going to hit the bottom three buttons, the middle one, so you get to mode. And then the third option down, you've got trig type alt. If you hit the plus and minus buttons, you can change that from alt to shot. As you can see, if you haven't been into this section of the SPD or you're terrified of it, there are three different pages of different options that we can choose to customize each different pad on the SPD. These are all really, really good options. But for now, we're just going to look at alt and shot just because we want to know the difference between them. This is also one of those options where I continually forget what these mean. So, I mean, I'm going to be watching this video back myself and being like ah yes so here are the differences we're gonna start with alt because that's what it's currently set to and then i'll show you shot in a second so alt alt means that when you hit the pad it'll obviously play the sample but when you hit it again it'll immediately stop that sample okay so here's a quick demo i've just got up the here we go patch on the spd it's built in so if you still have all of your factory presets on that spd you can get to this pad too so here's a sample of one of the built-in loops on the spd on the here we go patch on the alt setting So there you go, that's what Alt does. It's a really nice one for if you're using longer samples or if you've got something that you want to cut off or if you've got a sample that you, like I said, need to cut off halfway through, then you just hit that pad again and it's all hunky-dory. I also use this for when I have a sample that I don't want to overlap. So when, obviously I'll show you in a minute, but when you hit shot and you hit it again, obviously you get that overlap of each sample. And sometimes that little overlapping section can just sound really weird. So sometimes I have this just so when I hit another pad, that one will be muted. Now to do this, that's all to do with mute groups and stuff like that, which we'll get to in another video. But what it basically means is if you hit that pad that I just hit there, and you have another one in the same mute group, this one will mute when the next one starts playing. But like I said, you don't have to worry about that. So that is what Alt does. Now shot, when you hit the pad, what that basically means is when you hit it, it'll play the sample and it won't stop if you hit it again. So every single time you hit that pad, that sample will be played. Here's a quick demo of what I mean because it's always easier to hear things than it is to sometimes hear them explained by words. So here's what happens with the same sample when I hit the pad with the shot setting on. So as you can tell, it's a very handy option to have, but it can get a little dangerous if they keep overlapping. But the good news is there is an option to stop this and I'll show you that right now. So if we head back onto that pad setting, there's a little option you need to change. So just go to menu, pad, hit enter like we did before, go to the mode setting, the same thing of where you can find the alt and shot settings. And then right at the bottom, it's got poly slash mono. You wanna change that to mono now what that'll have what happens there is that every time you hit that pad it'll just start the sample from the beginning rather than layering them up which is what poly means okay so here's a quick demo of what i mean by that So there you go, that's what it means there and that's how you can change that setting so you don't get that weird overlap and it will just layer and layer on those samples. As fun as that is, but meh. Also, if you're trying this for the first time and you've now got loads of samples playing it all the time, just hit all sound off button, that will save you, that will turn everything off, that's your panic button. So what I tend to use this one for is all of my real sample sounds or realistic sample sounds. So I've got a long snare sound, it's quite a fat snare sound. Now this one I've got set to the shot setting because otherwise you'll get this really weird sound when it cuts off and loops back that sample. So what I mean by that is this. <laughs> 
it just means that you won't get some weird overlay and you can actually get that sample to sound exactly how you want it because when you've got for example separate triggers or separate trigger pads and you're hitting them repeatedly especially for like a build-up section they can start to layer and sound really odd but absolutely something that you should try and play around with see what how you can get your sound and see how you can make it sound really nice as with this product and loads of other drum stuff and musical stuff in general it's all about taking this and making it your own make putting your sound onto the kit so just as a quick recap alt means that when you hit the pad it'll play the sample you hit the pad again and it'll mute the sample and shot means that whenever you hit the pad the sample will be played either from the beginning again or it'll just start the sample so that's it that is what alt and shot mean so that's a really good feature that comes with the spd and it's one of those ones that's really again useful for the various things we're doing so if you're using loops or if you're using samples you don't want them to overlay and sometimes you might want them to overlay if you're ever looping anything then these are the ones for you and even if you're triggering stuff that's just as of standard they're also good fun to muck around with if you have any comment as always chuck them below there might be a few features that you've used them for that i haven't mentioned so let me know so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for all of our shiny new content and i will see you in the next one